Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have our next OPOP burst where we're going to be finding out our first details on the new weapons for Selfie, Sabin, and Ramza. Now we also have Celeste who is going to be getting her FR Echo, but I do not think that they are going to mention her uh, in this video. So we will more than likely see whatever we need to see uh, via the showcase whenever that does happen. So uh, as always, I'm going to be using my translator app and hopefully we get somewhat of a good idea as to what it is that is going to be presented to us in this video so let me know what you guys think let's go ahead and let's check this out <laughs> all right cool deal Let's go ahead and start moving forward. Hopefully my translator app does not give me any issues tonight. Because I do believe it wanted to act up the, the previous night or the night before that. I can't remember when. Uh, Alright, so the next events that is going to be happening for JP Defo. Uh, we do have the intersecting wheels for Selfie. We do have the beginning of the autumn campaign or the fall campaign as Global just started theirs. Uh, la last night actually and uh, we also have the next memorial battle stage 4 which is going to be Final Fantasy 6 related <laughs> so let's see what we got here so this is going to be Selfie's IW so Selfie is going to be getting her FR and her BT weapon which is very very exciting let's see I was trying to see if I can catch that pop up there we go uh, let's see, the characters that are going to be getting their Force Level 50 uh, is going to be Gao, Selfie, Waka, and I believe there's somebody else there, but I I am not a thousand percent sure as to who it is, so I'm just going to wait for the actual translations done by our community translator. Alright, so this is Selfie's FR weapon. So this is called, uh, how in the world? Uh, Fibarish? Throw, something like that. To all allies, it adds an amount of Brave according to your maximum Brave and releases a magic Brave attack plus an AoE HP attack to the targets. Uh, the force time effects. Uh, added Brave to an ally other than yourself through actions. It increases the HP damage bonus when the action order passes. When the Brave has recovered a certain amount at the start of action, HP damage bonus increases when action order passes. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, Brave regen at the start of turn, and then also using abilities that is able to grant Brave to the party uh, is going to be the other condition. And then uh, recovers a certain amount of HP for all allies. It looks like uh, it looks like her FR has some healing uh, as as an effect while her FR is active if I'm not mistaken of course well we'll, we'll confirm everything via the uh, translations uh, once whenever that comes out uh, the, by the way those translations I'm, I'm probably not gonna stay up to wait for it I am probably gonna record that before I go to work tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that and I, ass I, I can safely assume there should be a showcase for whoever uh, tomorrow morning. Alright, so who is Selfie's FR partner? It is Yuffie. Okay. Hmm. Why, why Yuffie? Yuffie, Yuffie, Yuffie. Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yuffie and Selfie. Yuffie and Selfie. What? What could they... What? Hmm. I don't know. I'll let you guys tell me. I I, I am tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, alright. Now we got the BT. So, this is called uh, The End. It, it fires a magic brave attack plus an AoE HP attack to all targets. The following effects apply to all allies. Brave consumed when attacking HP. Oh, when the, uh, okay. So whenever you are dealing HP damage, uh, the brave that is consumed is reduced, and HP damage is not reduced. Wait, what? HP damage is not reduced? How does that work? 
So brave consume when attacking HP is reduced. Okay, so you so we'll be able to keep a good amount of brave. So we'll be able to retain a good amount of brave. And then HP damage is not reduced. So does that mean that this kind of sounds like a Quina Setsa type of effect? But not I, I mean I don't know. Because it says HP damage is not reduced. So does that so does that mean that whatever Hmm, I don't know. That's kind of hard to tell. Brave consume when attacking HP uh, is reduced. And then HP damage is not reduced. I'm going to wait for translations on that, but I'm not a thousand percent sure about that one. Uh, whenever the last HP attack hits, when participating in a launch, additional HP damage will be generated according to the last HP damage dealt. Ooh. Oh, that... That might be a nasty effect. Because think about it. If you are... Let's say, for example, you're using Rufus. And Rufus is capping out of his butt with tremendous amounts of HP damage. If what it says here is true, when the last HP attack hits, when participating in the... Oh, excuse me. When the last HP attack hits, when participating in the launch, additional HP damage will occur, occur according to the last... HP damage dealt. Will that be the total HP damage dealt uh, for the character, or would it be just in general, like whatever the last HP? Oh, you know what this sounds like? This kind of sounds like an Iroha BT effect in a way, but it could be a stronger version of it. Maybe. I, I It, it kind of sounds similar because Iroha's BT effect is that on the final HP attack, uh, you're going to deal uh, HP or fix HP damage, but I forget what the condition is for that one. Uh, so, but it does sound a little bit similar to, to Iroha's BT effect, but we'll wait and see because I, I, I am curious as to how that is that, how that is going to work. And then we get the normal uh, BT effect uh, increases uh, brave damage up, brave damage cap up, HP damage up, and HP damage cap up. Yeah, Selfie's uh, BT effect sounds... Very interesting. I I am really gonna be curious about her BT effect now. Let's see if there's anything else that comes up with it. I think that might be it. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. So next up, we have the autumn campaign, the fall campaign, which begins on the 13th. So it's whenever uh, selfie drops. So let's see here. Oh, we got some free multi drops. Nice. So we have uh, the selfie, and whoever is going to be uh, ran with her, uh, there will be a free multi draw on both of those two banners. There will be an, uh, a, a fall campaign banner dropping on the 16th, and then the other one on the 18th. Uh, it looks like, from uh, from what it says on the text on the bottom, uh, Je Jesse, Celtius, and Aranea is going to be reran. And then uh, Tina, which I believe is uh, Terra. Uh, Setzer and Realms weapons will be picked up on the second campaign banner. So whoever, who, I, I, I if I'm not mistaken, I, I think Setzer's the only character currently, maybe Terra as well, that uh, that does not have Force level 50. So out of those six characters, I do believe that uh, Setzer for sure doesn't have uh, Force level 50, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, I, I'm not a thousand percent sure on Terra, but uh, yeah, they will be featured. Um, uh, those six characters that I did mention will be featured uh, on uh, both, oh, no, excuse me, three and three are going to be featured on the fall campaign banner number one and number two. And then we also have free multi draws happening on the 23rd for the upcoming Memorial Battle. <laughs> Oh, nice. And we got the, um, what do you call it? The Fall Cactor. <laughs> Looks like our daily tokens are increasing, so that's awesome. <laughs> and let's see what else we got here. Uh, looks like we have. Uh... Oh, nice. Have we not had that in JP? I guess not. Alright. <laughs> Global got it made. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright. So, I don't think there was anything in point that I needed to go over. Oh, we do. We are getting a second one as well. Okay, cool. So, we are getting um, 
two animated stickers. So Force Fragments and an animation stance will be available as rewards for the co-op event uh, held at the end of the month. There will be mission quests for the fall campaign that's going to be held. Uh, you can also get animated stickers here, uh, gotcha tickets, and uh, sparkles. The um, Yeah, the rainbow sparkles will also be there as rewards. Uh, Autumn campaign special gem sales will be held. Other weapon skins such as the Halloween Night's Fever and a Great Sword weapon skin treats candy will also be included in the gem sale and then the magic pod and any you know experience time experience times whatever it's going to be all that the, the usual stuff all right so next up we have the memorial battle and ramza is going to be getting his fr and sabin is going to be getting his bt weapon uh the stuff on the bottom says character adjustments will also be made for both characters uh additionally Ramza's force enhancements level 50 will be increased. Oh, All right. Finally, <laughs> tactics love. Ooh, what is she excited about? <laughs> They're excited for tactics. That, that tactics uh that's why. <laughs> All right, cool deal. Okay, had to take a some take a sip of water. All right. So, I believe this is Ramza's FR. So, his FR ability, Ultima Storm. It breaks all enemies and attacks all enemies. Releases a melee brave attack plus an AoE HP attack. And it lowers the action order of all enemies by one. Okay. Nice, nice. So, uh, breaking the targets and uh, delaying them. Cool. Alright, so let's check out the force conditions. So, the following effect applies to all allies. HP damage bonus increase whenever the target is attacked, uh, or whenever the target is broken, or if they are already broken, and then whenever the total number of buffs is 11 or more, it increases the HP damage bonus. Now, whenever the total number of buffs is 11 or more, it increases the HP damage dealt, the brave that you can uh, possess, and the and the HP damage. Oh, nice. Okay, so his first time effect has. Um, if I'm not mistaken, some brave gains in it, and uh, HP damage up and HP damage cap up. Noise. So yeah, the conditions are very easy. Very, very nice. So who is Ramza's partner? It is... Oh wow, Cloud, okay. Wait, wasn't Cloud? No, Cloud wasn't already used. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Your boy's thirsty today. <laughs> All right, cool deal. Now for Sabin's uh, BT weapon. So this is called uh, Hizatsuzawa, inherited from the master. It fires a magic brave attack plus an AOE HP attack to our target. <laughs> All right, Let's see what we got here. So this is what it provides. So the following effects applies to himself. An additional special effect after attack, Harawo's example is activated. To the to allies, break the target when brave attack hits the target. Some attacks are not included. Wait, what? Break the target when brave attack. Oh, oh. Break the target whenever brave attack hits the target. Some attacks are not included. Oh, okay. So we're going to be constantly breaking the enemy. Okay. It adds win and holy enchant to brave attacks regardless of whether they have... A oh, hey. Oh, nice. True win and holy enchant. Fan freaking tastic. That is awesome. And then the, the normal... Uh, uh, BT effect stuff, which is uh, brave damage up, brave damage cap up, HP damage up, and HP damage cap up. Okay, nice. True win and holy enchant. That is a W, uh, especially with uh, Zazat and Papa Limo. I mean that that is uh, that's fantastic. That's 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 good to know that they are uh, actually starting to throw our characters with true enchantment on it. That's that's fantastic. Uh, his follow-up. Let's see what his follow-up does. Alright. It says here... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't read it. Alright, so let's see here. The additional attack, uh, Wind Example, 
it fires a magic bray plus an AOE HP attack to our target. So I guess that's what it's called. It's wind, wind in example. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Rams is getting an out. Cool. That looks awesome. That looks pretty awesome. I like that. Huh. That actually looks pretty nice. I like that on him. Nice. Hey, we're getting stickers as well. Very nice. Is it just me or does the detail on these stickers look look so much better? than stickers that we have had in the past. I don't know if it's just me or not, but they look more detailed. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tired, but to me, they kind of look like they, they have like more detail to them. Let me, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But they kind of look like they do. So, and I believe that is going to be it. I think that is everything that is covered. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's just me or not, but it looks like there's more detail. I, I, I don't know. I'm just being weird. Uh, anyways, though, uh, yeah, so we got a good amount of uh, information for Selfie, Ramza, and uh, Sabin. So uh, Selfie's BT effect, I am really curious about. Uh, Ramza, I'm excited for, even though I've never played Tactics, but like I still think Ramza's cool. Uh, so I'm excited to grab his F4, and then uh, hopefully with... Um, with a Zabin, uh, hopefully he is able to uh, do the the uh, the good old train flip. Except he's gonna be doing it onto the bosses, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We should be getting showcases for uh, for selfie tomorrow, either tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I will try to get my translation video out for you guys uh, before I head out to work tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.